What could be more important than serving children good food every day? Nothing. A lot of positive changes have already been implemented in our school meal program, like offering more fruits and vegetables, many of them locally sourced from right here in Washington, including hormone-free 1% unflavored milk and fat-free flavored milks, water, and 100% fruit and vegetable juices. Serving whole grain rich foods like whole wheat pastas and breads. Introducing meals lower in fat, sugar, and salt. Good idea. New nutrition standards have been issued by the United States Department of Agriculture that will help our nutrition staff improve school breakfast and lunch, making it even better. These new requirements are based on the 2010 Dietary Guidelines for Americans. Implementation of the new guidelines start this school year, fall 2012, now. <laughs> The most noticeable changes affect lunch. Here is a rundown of the most important super good changes. First of all, students will be asked to take a fruit or a vegetable with their lunch for it to count as a full meal. Now, previously they had the option to decline, but this is good because, you know, if it's on the tray, it's more likely to be eaten, right? Fruits and vegetables. High in nutrients, low in calories. Remember the three bears and how they had different size bowls of porridge for different size bears? Well, the USDA must have read that story too because the new requirements have different size portions for different size people. Like the little one for K through five, the middle one for six through eight, and the bigger one for those hungry high schoolers. Good idea, since portion size education helps teach students what's an appropriate amount to eat. And that helps them as they get older to make better food choices. Look out, another change, a wider variety and more servings of fruits and vegetables. And one of the most nutrient rich fruits and vegetables, the greens and the oranges, of course, and the USDA is gonna promote them and so should you. Um, but you know, I also think the reds are pretty good too. Anything with color, right? Another change, a half a cup of yummy legumes every week, like black beans and chickpeas and cannellini beans and kidney beans and lentils. And how about increasing whole grains too? They are nutritional powerhouses. The USDA wants us to have more, so we've got whole wheat pasta and whole wheat bread. We've got whole wheat tortillas, brown rice, oatmeal. They're full of fiber, full of nutrition. Good stuff. So let's think, why should you get behind the new face of school meals? Well, Every cell in your body is informed by the food you eat. So of course we want to give children the best food possible so they can become healthy, productive adults, but also so they can feel good now. When children eat fresh whole foods, they're absent less often, they can concentrate better, and their mood is improved. And that makes everybody's school day a little bit better. So what can you do? Well, we want to encourage families to ask questions. We want to get children and parents talking about fruits and vegetables, have parents model good eating habits, and best of all, have them check out the excellent resources on the Nutrition Services website. The new face of school meals will help improve children's health today and in the future. And what could be better than that? Nothing.